Good day viewers, you are welcome. Let's solve these nice functional equations as I'm going to be solving this in two different ways. So the first one is a little bit long and I will still show you the easy and the quickest way of solving this. So let's start with the solution first. We want to find f of n. If we have f of n plus 3 equals n squared plus 6n plus 9. So the domain of these functions is given as n plus 3. I want to reduce it to only n. Suppose I let, if I let n plus 3 to be equals capital letter N. So these are do two different letters. Then let's make n the subject. We are going to subtract 3 from both sides. So by subtracting 3 from both sides, we have this 3 cancel 3. And we make n the subject as n minus 3. So note that we can choose any letter of our choice. So I just chose n to be the representative of n plus 3. So on getting this, let's look at the left hand side. We have n squared, small letter n squared. And here we have n equals capital letter n minus 3. So what we do is, we need to find n squared. So and to get n squared, we are going to take the square of n minus 3 squared. So having this, when we expand n minus 3 squared, we get n squared minus 6n plus 9. And also from what we have at the right hand side, we have 6n. Which one we multiply 6 by n minus 3, we are going to get 6n minus 18. 6 times n, that is 6n. Then 6 times minus 3, we have it as minus 18. And we have the constant term there, which is 9. Then we are now going to substitute everything back as we have f of, instead of n plus 3, we change it to capital letter n equals n squared is given as n squared minus 6n plus 9. Then we have plus. So the 6n is given as capital letter 6n minus 18 then plus 9. So after having these expressions, we are going to continue by uh, cancelling what is necessary to cancel. So here we have plus 6n and here is we have minus 6n. So we have this as n squared plus 6n minus 6n, they cancel each other. Here we have 9 plus 9, then minus 18. 9 plus 9 is given as 18 minus 18. And 18 minus 18, it gives us 0. So they cancel each other. Therefore, f of capital letter N is given as capital letter N squared. And by... Replacing capital letter N with small letter N, we have f of N equals N squared. So therefore, for every f of N plus 3, the resulting value is when we find f of N, we get N squared, which is still a quadratic but in monomial. So this, which, this is quadratic monomial functions. So this is the first method of solving this problem and it's still simple. Then let's see the second method of solving this. When we look at the right hand side, we have a quadratic. So if we have f of n, f of n plus 3, this equals, so n squared plus 6n plus 9 is given as n plus 3 multiply by n plus 3. So this is what we have for it. We expand this, we get n squared plus 6n plus 9. And since this is doubled, you can simply write it as n plus 3 squared. So this equals f of n plus 3. And by changing n plus 3 to n, so we are going to have f of n equals n raised to the power of 2. So it's just simple as it is for the second method. Thanks for watching and uh, you can drop your answers 
the beautiful method you have to solve this. See you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.